Hey, welcome to the Electronics Channel. In this video, I'm going to do an example where I'm converting this Pi network into this T network. And one thing to remember is a Pi network is the same as a Delta network, and a T network is the same as a Y network. So we could also consider this a Delta to Y conversion. Now this is a problem from a problem set, and the links are in the description below to that problem set. And it's not really, well, it's not at all, going to go into the details of how to and why you would encounter this and do this. Um, I'm just going to go through the mechanics of, of this actual conversion. So what we have is the Pi network on this side, and we want to figure out what the RD, RE, and RF values are for that, that will give you us that will give us the equivalent network of, of this Pi network. And there's some simple equations that I'm not going to derive here, but have been derived before. Um, and again, look in the description below and you can find some links to where those derivations come from. Uh, the equation for RD is equal to RA times RB divided by RA plus RB plus RC. So RA RB and RC are over here in our Pi network. And then this is going to be equal to 1000 ohms times 400 ohms divided by the sum of RA, RB, and RC. So that's 1000 plus 400 plus 3000. So that's over 4400. RE is equal to RA times RC over RA plus RB plus RC. And so that's equal to 1,000 times 3,000 over the same denominator, 4,400. And finally, RF is equal to RB times RC over that same denominator, RA plus RB plus RC. So that's equal to RB is 400 times RC of 3000, all divided by that 4400 ohm denominator. So then doing these calculations, plugging in the numbers to a calculator, I get 909.1 ohms for RD. I get 681.8 ohms for RE. And I get 272.7 ohms for RF. So what we end up with are two circuits, one in a pi configuration, one in a T configuration, but these are equivalent circuits. And, and what it means by equivalent circuits is if I was to measure the voltage, if I was to measure the resistance between X and Y, I would get the same, in, in this circuit, I would get the same resistance as, I as if I measured it between X and Y over in this circuit. Same thing for XZ, XZ, YZ, YZ. All right, that's it for that simple example. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.